into this other story. This is a, kind of an interesting story. It's actually about a class action lawsuit. You're not going to read much of it, but it happened here in Illinois. I thought, though, it was a good example mm -hmm. of the need for consumers to read the fine print, which, you know, this is what happened with the previous story where right. a consumer became confused. Um, what is going on here is a collection agency called uh, Dynamic Recovery Solutions has agreed to a settlement um, with consumers, a consumer pool um, or class, uh, regarding the wording of its debt collection letter. So here's what, what was going on. Dynamic Recovery Solutions, LLC, is a de debt buyer. They buy up what's called time-barred debt. This is debt, uh, debt credit card, oftentimes credit cards debts. Um, it's still good. I mean, it's still real debt. But the state statute of limitations has expired, so the creditor can no longer take a, a consumer to court, or a, a debtor to court over it. They can't, you can't sue you. Um, if you do get a, if, you, if they do try to sue you, you can go to court, say this is out of statute, the judge will toss it right out. Um, so there's no, and this does not have anything to do with credit reporting. Uh, debts can, credit reporting, uh, that can last about seven years, but we're talking here about statute of limitations, which can be two to five years in most cases. Some are longer than that, but two to five years before, during which you can file a lawsuit to collect a debt. Well, as it turns out, there's a huge market in buying up debt. It's kind of gambling, type of gambling. Um, so what happens is a collection agency will invest in a portfolio of time-barred debt um, in hoping to, uh, trying to collect on it. So what they will do is they'll start contacting the debtors and say, hey, we have this debt, uh, we've bought it, and uh, we want to collect it from you, pay us. And they will use a variety of techniques to try and get you to pay. Uh, it, what they're doing is legal. What they are doing is legal. It can be shady, but it's legal. But the thing is, pennies on the dollar can turn into big dollars. So let's say they buy a credit card account, a credit card debt for, it was a $1,000 debt. Uh, they pay maybe 50 bucks for it, mm -hmm. and they get a consumer to settle for 300 or 500 Well, right. you know, that's a lot of blow up your nose. So um, <laughs> they can do it that way. Believe me, they work on, on, on commission. Okay, so again, this is a barbaric system that's very legal in this country, and uh, this, is, this is people's lives that they're, run, uh, that they're trying to ruin. And it's, okay, so, so what else is happening So what happened here? here in this case, and this is kind of amusing, is that this company was putting a disclosure on its letters uh, saying that this debt is, is out of statute. You can, we, nobody will sue you for it. What they didn't put on those letters is if you were to agree to a payment plan or agree in some way or another to pay off the debt, because you maybe want to do the right thing, you are essentially reviving the debt and resetting the statute of limitations. So uh, be, when before you could not be sued for this debt, wow. the second you agree to a payment plan uh, or make an attempt to pay the debt or to try to work something out, you might be resetting that statute of limitations. And they weren't telling people about it. Wow. And, you know, I came across this. It's not really big news, but I wanted our, our, list, our, our viewers to know about this. Yeah. And I thought it was kind of important. Uh, keep in mind that any time you get something from a, a debt collector or a creditor or even a lawyer for the same... They are not under any obligation to look out for your interests. I've given you in uh, the show notes some really good articles, including one from the Federal Trade Commission, that can help you out, uh, learn how to respond to this sort of thing. And to, of course, when if somebody calls you, don't agree to a payment plan, don't agree to anything until you've had a chance to look over what they're asking for, and hopefully get legal advice, just, just to be aware of this. So, so here's my advice. Take your time. You're, you're going to work on OFP, your own fucking program, and you'll get back to them when you want to get back to them, okay? Because let's face it, in this day and age, people are just struggling to make ends meet. The last thing they need is somebody on the phone saying, you owe this money. No, I'm trying to live my life as best I can. Take your time. Read the fine print, you'll be okay. But never, ever kowtow to somebody who's going to threaten you or put out all this other kind of BS. Stand up for yourself. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. There we go. That's, that's a little advice from Kit Cabello right there.